Hey Chris, what are you doing? What are you Just doing? take a look at the drip. You boys don't get fired in this. Wait, it's lit. She wanna catch all of the drip, drip, drip. So I uh, saw this on my For You page the other day. When it's wet outside, you can slide while you're driving. Oh, I can do it. Hey guys, what's poppin'? So, uh, I know we haven't been able to do all the crazy stuff that we normally do in, uh, our videos. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Go, like that, yeah, I know. It's because the whole coronavirus deal. <laughs> and the quarantine, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know what to do about that. And uh, hopefully all of you guys are staying safe, but we've got some stuff that you guys haven't seen, and that's happened, that we haven't shown you. So today, you're gonna see it, let's do it. Okay, all right, I know you guys saw for a snippet yesterday in my video. Oh. Oh. All right. I'm here, mister. He's a very nice docile fish. No, he's not. So we put this guy in here. This is Chris's tank. He like decked this thing out in his video. And then there's a there's a pike down there. You can you can cut. Oh, I see his face. I see him. I got him quite a bit. I absolutely love him. But we we noticed something. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's babies in here. And these are these are guppy babies. And he hasn't seen them yet. He has terrible vision. So he hasn't eaten them yet. So we gotta get these guys out. The little you guys can see them right there? Yeah, they're they're literally everywhere. Also, this is you guys have seen this baited tank plenty of times. This baited fish is in a mood obviously he made this little bubble nest if you guys don't know what that means he wants a female and he wants playtime <laughs> um he's right there as a show quality beta fish i think is sick okay there's nothing in here like there's absolutely nothing in here See, nothing moved. That's why we have these filters off, but we want to put something in here. I love this tank, and I love the sand in this tank because it's super, super fine. It makes you feel like you're at the beach even though when you're in a cold, rainy, dark place. That's not the point, though. The point is that this thing is vicious and is growing. Look at him. Look how much that bass has grown. Dude, if I lift this up, so many random fish would come out. Are you, you okay? Okay. I'm ready. ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. But what? You don't... You don't remember putting the black tip shark in here? No. Oh gosh! Look oh my god! Oh my gosh! There's an Oscar Plecos. right there. Plecos. Dude, I want to get the Paku. Oh, that's the feather fin catfish right there. Mr. Poku, please don't bite me. Oh, dude, there's a bit. That night fish is massive. Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, oh. There he is. There he is. Okay, if you guys don't know what a Paku is, it's basically like a piranha, but the teeth aren't like, they're like human teeth. But the teeth on this, not designed for cutting, but for crushing and tearing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys see this right here? It was a lot worse yesterday, <laughs> but this is, this is what happened. Okay, so this is the story of how I used a fish tank siphon to literally destroy my face. As you guys can see, it looks like I got hit by a two by four and my mom was really concerned. Honey, what's wrong with your face? So once you get this thing and like turn the water on, it creates this really, really strong suction. Oh, uh. And then I decided to stick it to my face and then this happened. Yeah, I messed up my, my face. I didn't, uh, that's, that's why I said don't try it at home. But no, this tank had babies. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a bunch of babies in here. That's actually a new fish. That's a new fish. Let me see if I can find the small ones. That is also a new guppy. Oh, there's one right there. You guys see his little face. He's about to get eaten by his mom. It's okay. But there's a bunch of babies in here that uh, have been birthed, which is good. Oh, there's also an outdoor pond out there. Oh, and on top of everything, I did rescue a turtle last night. Okay, I was driving and I thought I saw an albino turtle, but it was actually just a turtle upside down. So we're gonna go get him. I don't know how he got upside down. Now there's a police officer driving by. He's probably gonna be like, what are you doing? But I got my turtle. Just the same kind as the one I have in my house, but we're gonna go let him go. Okay, we're good. Don't know what his name is, but whatever his name is, comment down below so you can wish him luck. Oh! Now, it is raining like crazy outside, and I know a lot of you guys have not seen all the stuff I have, considering I've gotten 10,000 subscribers in the past day just from TikTok, so I know there's a bunch of new people on my channel. Welcome. This is an awful channel. But it, it is raining. I don't know if the animals are up right now in their, in their pen, but we're gonna find out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh! <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, they're out. Mr. Duckies, what's up? All right, so here is the pond. As you guys can see, I've had to move a lot of fish out of here in the past few days. Huh, dude, your face is fat. What's wrong, Steven? All of their faces are fat. Did you guys get stung by a thing of bees? What happened? Is it, al do you do you get allergies? All of, why are you all so fat? I don't understand. But I've had to move a lot of fish out of that pond in the past few days. 
but I mean by a lot I mean three and I haven't been able to put them inside because I have no room couldn't put them in the pool pond in there because there's no room I have a few local aquarium stores that you guys see me go to that I work with about to take them on for just a few weeks until it gets warm so I can put them back um but look at him look at him he's fat and so is yours look at her what are you doing <laughs> sweetie see they have this big cover thing but they love the rain I've noticed that look at his hair he looks like a mop we call him a few things Russell Keith and alfalfa so he's got three names and this is just Craig and that's that's pickle boots if you guys never watched the baby possum video I highly suggest that you watch that this is the new small animal rescue bin that we have for things like squirrels raccoons possums stuff like that goes in there so if you ever find one of those and you live in the DFW area hit me up there's our puffer fish and it looks crystal clear in there this tank is low and it's low for a reason my axolotl is still in here but I'm just doing it to help him with uh with floating that's one of the reasons my substrate's gone but no that that tank's fine oh um, can, can you, you want to turn off there it is. It's good. And I, you, I haven't really shown you guys him, like, at all. This is <laughs> this is our Oscar. I've never had a fish like this, and I think it's super, super dope. He's mean, though. He's absolutely vicious. The fish that, like, takes over this tank and controls it is this one right here. And he tries to fight with him. And he doesn't really have it because he doesn't care. But no. Um, and then there's our water cow, one of my favorite fish. Catfish. And, of course, the arowana. But no, this tank is this tank's doing great. And I don't know how you guys wouldn't have seen the fish in this tank because, well, I've been electrocuted by him multiple times. <laughs> Shocks you. Do you like me now? Bro, it's like my pet. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he didn't lighten up in water. <laughs> He's a very friendly fish, but everything's doing good. It's just we're trying to find videos to film with all of this going on. Kind of sucks. Look at him. Look at Steven. Why are you? What did you get into? And you too, little girl. You, you're chubby. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. I know. Oh, there's a, there's a raindrop. Sorry, guys. Craig. Right here. Yeah, yeah, he thinks I have food. The tour is not over yet, though. We've got two more little fluffy animals. What the hell? Oh! oh God! <laughs> <laughs> my context tried! Oh my god! Okay, so, yeah, I'm allowed to show this, right? Okay, so, this is, I don't know if you guys know what this, I, I can touch it, okay, it's dry. Oh, it's soft, bro. So, Chris has been decking this out. I'll show you what a normal one of these looks like. It's like this type of wood right here. And he's got another one going on right here. Oh, that's still wet. Uh oh Those doors go on this tank. Everything we do on our channels, we try and do it DIY. So, he's completely, like, making a new tank by doing this, but uh, this feels dope. Oh. This stuff takes, like, 24 hours to dry, but if you hit it with a leaf blower, leaf blower it dries about <laughs> dries three a little, seconds. It a little faster. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, all right. Wait, where is he? Where we've had this conversation, Chris. This is Carl. This is Carl. Where is Carl? Here, Carl. Shut up. Carl. Don't even play with me. There he is. Now we got to get him to come out. So what I found out, <gasps> Carl. Come on, come on. No, bro. Robo hamsters are actually desert hamsters. And if you notice, this everything over here is like perfectly in place, and then the sand is destroyed. It's because of you, Carl. Yeah. Where do you go? That's Carl. Yeah. Carl doesn't ever come out. And this is Carl's corner. Yeah. Carl, screw you, Carl. Okay, the last animal is right here. I can't show his cage yet because we're doing some really cool stuff to it. But uh, if you don't know how we got him, this is how we got him. Hey guys, my name's Brunton. And in one of my YouTube videos last week, I got a DM. Somebody said that they found a hamster behind a dumpster. So we decided to drive three and a half hours to Austin, Texas to find it. After looking and looking, we finally found him and decided to let the store know what happened. After that, we kind of just gave him some love and played with him. So we rescued that hamster from literally behind a dumpster. It, there's a full video on my YouTube channel. And then of course you guys saw him, that hamster up there, but he is, Carl is mean. I don't like Carl. I like this one. This one's cool, but that is super sick. And here he is right here. This is uh, literally our dumpster hamster. Hey Chris, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you have like e-boy hair now. Oh my god, no, get it off! Not take care of me, you ready? Hold on! Alright, 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 right, turn it on! Alright, guys, no! oh! uh, Well guys, if you've yet to join my channel, click the subscribe button down below. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've used this thing. Yeah. Like a year. Yeah. Look at the flying. This is a terrible toy for us to play with. Yeah, very oh much. My it was god. the best eighteen dollars we ever spent though, yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. But if you guys haven't joined my channel yet, it's raining. Do it. Okay, cool. Bye. Okay. <laughs>